So I recently tried out a new VS Code plugin called Glean, and it's made by Wix, and I wanted to share it with you guys because a lot of people don't seem to know about it. It was recently created, or at least open sourced, and we have only 11,000 installs and three reviews. And so far when I've used it, it seems pretty helpful. And what it's used for is to help you refactor your TypeScript, JavaScript code, specifically in React, or it looks like JSX in general. And so what you can do with it is let's say we have, this is the code that I wrote recently, and I wanna move these components right here to a different file. So normally what I would do is I would create the new file over here, I'd copy and paste them over. Um, but you can now hover over them, and we get this little light bulb here, and I can say extract to a component, and then I pick where I want it to go. So I'd like it to go to the to-do list folder. I'm gonna click it, and I wanna create a new file, and I'm gonna call it slash body.jsx. And so, so what, what just happened there is it replaced here with a body tag, and it created this new body function over here. Now it formats stuff weird for me, but it's fine because I just run prettier on it um, when I save it and it looks nice again. It even adds fragments for you and we can save it over here and it looks good. So that's pretty cool. What else can it do? Well, I can hover over this if I want to and I can click on the light bulb and I convert it to a stateful or a regular component over here. So now I can add state. That's pretty nice. Um, and also convert it back. So this is something that can save you a lot of time because normally I would do this myself. And then it has a little warning if you try converting back. So we'll say yes, that's okay. And that's because it gets rid of all the lifecycle functions. Uh, another one that I like is if I want to conditionally render something, I can do that as well. And then it just writes out a little boilerplate for you. And then here I can add my condition uh, of whatever I want it to be, so it's pretty nice. But I mean, just the ability, the big thing for me is um, being able to convert it from a function to classes is pretty nice, but I think the, the one I like the best is being able to just grab a few components and extract them into a component. Because I do that a lot where I want to move stuff around, so being able to do that is nice. Uh, I'd say one thing that would be nice is if I'm extracting this to a new uh, folder or a new file like this, that it would add React at the top, like React, like that, so I don't have to type it. Because if I'm if they're extracting a function over and we have JSX in it, it's gonna need to have React in the scope. So I'd say that's pretty much the only thing that I'd run into that'd be like it'd be pretty nice if they added that. But if you haven't, give the plugin a try. It's kind of handy and it can come in good use. Uh, and I'm curious if you guys have any other VS Code plugins that you've used recently that you like or that you think are pretty useful, I'd love to hear about them.